I love listening to music, and my best guess is you do as well. However, did you know that there have been several studies made on how music offers several benefits to us as footballers? Today, I'll go over five different ways on how you can use music to improve your performance and elevate your game as a footballer. Also, this video is part of an upcoming four-part series where I discuss how common lifestyle habits affects us as footballers and how we can use them to take our games to the next level. Let's begin. Number one, setting a mood. I think we're all already familiar with how music can change the way that we feel. Before training and games, we're always pumping out some good tunes to help us get in the right mood. However, why not take advantage of this and use music strategically as part of our preparation? Music has been shown in studies to influence our emotions and our mood, which in turn can affect our athletic performance. The thing is though, we're all different. I can tell you this because I've been at both ends of the spectrum. When I was younger, I was more anxious and nervous before games, while now instead I'm more relaxed. Therefore, why not use different sorts of music to suit our needs depending on what type of person and player that we are. While I was younger, I would listen to more chill and laid back music to help myself calm down and get rid of that anxiety, while now instead I will try to hype myself up by listening to high tempo and energy driven music. Try to identify what type of person you are and then experiment with what types of music suits your needs the best. Then create a playlist with a good amount of songs that you can listen to before training or before games that can help you get in the right mood and the right mindset to perform out on the field. Number two, faster recovery. This may sound insane, but did you know that you can use music to recover even faster for your next training session or your next game? I promise you, I'm not making this up because the studies do back this up. The reason this works is because when we train and play, our body releases a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is the stress hormone that sometimes is good for us and sometimes is bad for us. When we train and play in games, a release of cortisol is beneficial because it helps our bodies get ready for the physical demands of playing the game of football. However, when we want to recover, we don't want to keep our cortisol levels high. Instead, we want to lower them. And how can we do this effectively? You guessed it, through music. Studies have shown that listening to slow tempo and relaxing music helps our body in lowering our cortisol levels, which helps our body and mind recover even quicker. This aids in reducing muscle soreness and reducing our stress levels. So the next time you've had a hard session, having that slow tempo playlist within your library will help you to get back to your best even quicker. Number three, enhance physical performance. If you feel like you're struggling with your physical performance in games, Besides just training more, you can try to implement a specific type of music into your daily routine. Because research has shown that listening to music can enhance our physical performance by improving endurance, improve our coordination, and reduce our perceived effort. In other words, how tough our minds perceive something to be. The studies have shown that the best and most effective way to increase our physical performance is by listening to music with a tempo between 120 and 140 beats per minute. So the next time you feel like that running exercise is super hard or that you feel like you lack the physical endurance in the games, besides putting in that hard work, you can make it a lot easier for yourself by listening to the right music. Number four, team spirit. Lately I've become somewhat of the dressing room DJ and it's a mantle that I've taken on myself and to be honest I don't think there's anyone better from the job. <laughs> Jokes aside, I think music is an incredible tool to help raise team spirit and unity within the team. Personally, I've always felt like music creates an overall better mood, positivity and openness within the dressing room. And the research made on this area have shown the same thing. Studies have shown that shared musical experiences can enhance team bonding and cohesion within a group, which in turn will help your relationship out on the field and help you find that chemistry that will help you perform. So if you're not doing it already, make sure that you or someone else within the team takes on the role of the dressing room DJ and start pumping some music that pulls everyone in the same direction. Number five, focus and concentration. If you struggle with focus or concentration, we can actually use music to improve in this regard. Research on this area have shown how music can help athletes maintain focus and eliminate distractions, 
which in turn leads to better concentration during training and matches, which in turn will lead us to improving faster as footballers and help moving forward in our careers. Here the key is to listen to your favorite music, familiar music that you know very well. That will then put you in a psychological state of flow. And if you know the flow state, you know that it's when we perform the absolute best as footballers. If you want tips on what music to listen to, I actually got something for you. This Friday, I'm actually releasing my very first album on all major streaming platforms called Only a Dream, which will be out by Friday, August 9th. I'll leave a link in the description for the music channel where I've already released three singles that will feature on the album. Also, I'll leave links in the description to all the studies that I've mentioned in this video if you want to dig even deeper. Stay tuned for the next video where we go over another lifestyle habit and how that can help you 5x your performance out on the field. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Also consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the new content that I put out. But that's it for this time. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.